Guys, it's your boy here, Kevin. I finally wanted to make this video about how to downgrade the iPad 2. I've been asked to request a ton, and I'm sorry I haven't done it. The only reason I haven't done it is because I was trying to find the OTA files. The OTA files are what you use for the iPhone 4S. It's the same thing on here. I The files, though, I got the video from the iPhone 4S didn't have the iPad ones, and it didn't work. So I had to find them. I finally found it. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get them right now. I'm going to leave the links for everything in the description. Just go down there and click the first website. First website will be this one right here. IPSW.me, you can just actually search up. If you really can't find this for some reason, uh, that's not working, just search up IPSWs, and there it is. It'll be like the first one, it's a dot .me. Just click here, and then depending on device you're doing, so we're doing the iPad, so we'll go to the iPad, and then well, I don't have any of these, sadly. <laughs> Let's go right to the bottom here, and I found the iPad 2 Wi-Fi. This is mine, not this one. There's a difference. I don't know, what, there's actually a difference. This one only goes to iOS 8. You can tell the difference, because look, if I go here, see? Oh no, this one does. The, um, I'm sorry, in OTA files, and you can see there's a ton, and it doesn't do any of the six. So, but this one does, I've had two Wi-Fi, that one. So go to this one, and then scroll right to the bottom. See, you can see these are all screwed up, the IPSLEs. And this is the original way of downgrading, is you just download, go down all the way bottom here, download that, flash it to the iPad, you're done. It's so easy, but Apple blocked it, and stopped signing everything, except the latest firmware. So uh, go back here, go to, at the top, it literally says OTAs. You just click on that, hide on down. These are all the ones that are signed that work. Um, you can do eight for some reason if you wanted. I just do six. I just went with this one right here. Boom. Click that. And then for some reason this download button didn't work. First time I have it downloaded already. I just hit copy to clipboard, went into a new tab, and hit control V and then just downloaded it from there. Um, so that's what you're gonna do. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is just head onto the iPad. There it is. I've reset this one, it's now on iOS 9, I'll show you quickly. You can see the laggy iOS 9. About, and version iOS 9.3.5, boom. So it's on the latest version that it runs. There's nothing on here, I sign on your iCloud, everything, because you're gonna be downgrading and you don't want any issues with that. Okay, laggy. Uh, and then you're gonna open up three tools on your Windows PC. You will need Windows for this. Or you can, uh, um, what's it called on Mac? I think it's called, not Dual Boot. I forgot the name of it. If you guys really wanna make a video on how to run Windows, says Apple actually made it for Mac, like Windows did. So you can actually run Windows 10 on a Mac. It's really cool, actually. It's very nice if I do that. So here, open the three tools. Let the iPad pop up before hit trust if you have to. There you go again, 9.3.5. I can say it's jailbroken. No, you need to jailbreak for this. It, iOS 6 will not be jailbroken though when you downgrade. It'll just be normal iOS 6. Don't worry if you really want a classic look to it. There will be no jailbreak. But I will be jailbroken my version because I need it to have some fun. I'll show you how to get like what I have on my TikTok. If you've ever seen them, is I have all the old apps and love you guys like that doesn't work on my iPad or my iPhone 4, any of that. Oh, so this is actually new. Wow. So you're gonna choose the version you're gonna be using. You'll be using Phoenix at the top here. There you go, supports these versions. Hit start jailbreak. It's gonna download this up. Windows Defender might pop up and give you a warning. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is this. I'm just gonna open it right now, actually. With the iPad out of the way here. Uh, Windows. Windows Security, go here. Like that. And then you're just gonna go into Virus and Threat Protection. Well, if I have no viruses, I do. There it is. You can see it. Did it, did it cancel it? Yeah, it did. Failed. Uh, what you're gonna do is just go into virus and threat protection, like mine just did, and hit real-time protection. Just turn it off for a bit. Don't worry, this is not a virus, I can promise you. And then just find the jailbreak again. Jailbreak. Is it doing? It should be, uh, no, what did I do? Uh-oh, where is it? Oh, it's the right in the background. Yeah, it is, okay. Just select it again, hit run jailbreak. So all you gotta do is pause the real-time protection. You can turn it back on right away after this is done. This happens because you're downloading some weird software that's unverified by Microsoft. Microsoft has no idea where this file is coming from, so they're just worried. Don't worry, it's not a virus, it's not going to do anything. Now you can just watch your iPad do its thing. It's going to do this, it's going to open settings, I'm not even touching it. It does everything. This can hit OK. You can just leave your iPad plugged in, doesn't matter. You're going to go over here, select this one, and you can hit Trust. If you have a passcode on this iPad, remove it first of all, and then enter your passcode if it requires it. It's gonna hit delete app now instead. It's gonna say verified. Hit home. Now you've jailbroken. Oh. Home doesn't really work on this one. Uh, hit Phoenix. There it is. The iPad 2 1 is not jailbroken. Yep. So we're gonna hit prepare for jailbreak. It's like prepare for launch. Wow. You're gonna hit accept. 
I can do a whole mixtape if you'd like to download it. It's nothing really. I just hit proceed with jailbreak and then hit begin installation. I was gonna prepare the jailbreak. It's gonna say that, and that's perfect. It should be exactly correct for your iPad. Boom. So I'm gonna run the exploit. My screen is really dirty. I'm really sorry about that, guys. It's always dirty. Just like that. Uh, let it boot up. It takes a while for an iPad 2 to boot up. You guys know. So I'm gonna uh, give it a second as it boots, and I'll be right back. It looks like it's almost done because Windows just said it's connected. Uh, keep your iPad plugged in basically at all times because you don't need the battery dying. It'll be kind of annoying if it does in this process. You can see how long. Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. We're back in. Here we go. Same iPad. Now we'll be able to go to the second screen. We should not see CD. Okay, uh, that happens sometimes. Just give it a second. It might pop up after like a few seconds just because it just finished downloading and installing. It might pop up. Just If it doesn't, you can just go back in, which I'm going to do right now, actually. It's just hop back into uh, Phoenix and just reinitiate it again. Sometimes it does this kind of stuff. Uh, it takes a bit, but it will come. Don't worry. Don't freak out if you're just doing this as well. Just do it again. Uh, begin installation. Use Brick Right Okay, it's going to restart again, and we'll be right back. All right, it's rebooting again now. Just wait for it to boot, and then uh, hopefully we should see City on the home screen. Oh, it just booted up. I got myself some water, so it took me some time there. Hopefully, we see City across your fingers. Peeking over. No, we don't see. Oh, we do. Okay, there it is. There you go. You can see City now. It's popped up. I maybe take one or two, three tries to do it, but it'll pop up like this, and then it should just work right away. Or not, we're gonna have to let this iPad 2 quality. What you can do in the meantime is get this ready on your computer. Hop onto your computer quickly, go and copy the link I have in the description. It says this Reboot at uh, TH, you know, whatever, Teams Master. That is the repo you'll need for Cydia, which we'll do right now. All right, it's just finished loading. Uh, give it a second for the first time. It'll, uh, yeah, bring up this, tell you to install some files. Just hit install, let it do its thing. That's normal if you don't worry if all these errors pop up. This is just because they're old packages now and it's an older version of Cydia. So if you said upgrade essentials, you don't need a complete upgrade. That's doesn't matter. It's only two megabytes, so it'll take like two seconds. It'll force close Cydia in a second here, you'll see. Give it a second, it should make us restart Cydia. No, it's not gonna make us restart city. Cool, that's even better. No, it will though. Just have this repair ready on your computer or somewhere you can copy it or just be able to write it down quickly because you'll need this for the uh, next steps. There we go, so it does that, boom. Pulls us right back to Cydia. Just pop back in, wait for it to load again. Should be faster the second time. Yeah, I told you, there we go. Now we're in, it's gonna bring that little warning up again, just hit return. It'll pop up here, probably watch, I'll pop up with a second I hit edit and add. You're just gonna hit edit, so go to sources, hit edit, so right edit will be right in the corner, and click add. Now we'll type the repo and I put up there, you can watch it again. There you go, type that in. Up oh, dot net, whoops, it was, I probably just hit enter your phone along, but just hit dot net and then hit add. It should just work. Hit done. And then you should see something pop up there. There we go. So return to Cydia, and then I'll be this penguin looking one. There it is, a penguin. You can see it. Beta repo. And I just go to all packages. If they don't pop up right away, if it says zero, if everything, just go back and reopen Cydia and it'll pop up. Now you're in here, just scroll down till K, won't be that far, but there's not many packages in this one, and you'll see KDFU loader, or app, sorry. And then just click install in the top corner there. Hit confirm. Shouldn't give you any errors. I don't know if this works on later versions of iOS. I know this works on iOS 9. I'll find out if I can do it on um, the iPhone 5, which is in this drawer. This iPhone 5, we'll find out if we can do it on this one. Unique way to make a window portal. 
don't care TikTok, but whatever. Uh, we'll find we can do it on the net. And then once I get the seven repaired, um, yeah, uh, I'll find if I can do it on the latest version of iOS and stuff like that. And I'd actually like to figure out if I can do it on a really old version of iOS, such as iOS 3 on this iPod Touch. This is a second gen iPod Touch. I had a third gen back in the day. I ran iOS 6 though. Uh, configuring KDV app. I'm gonna take a few more seconds. Count on the Apple Watch. Uh -huh. Still configuring well. Come on. Well, uh, we'll just let this load all of it. Oh, there we go, it doesn't matter. Turn the city up. Go home. Go, go home. And then you should see this app. It'll just look like that. Just click and do it. And then just hit all these little switches. Give it a second between each one so it lets it be able to download and finish each one. And then ready. Then just click enter KDFU. Now once it's done that, iTunes will pop up giving you a huge ass warning telling you. There you go, it goes black like that. Uh, look at my computer screen quickly. It'll pop up on iTunes in a second here. Well, you got some crap music on here. Travis Scott? Okay. There we go. See, it pops up like that. Just hit the close button. And then go into three U tools and actually close iTunes so it comes, stops popping up like that. Boom, now iTunes is closed. This is also pop up. Don't worry about it. Go to RT slash wipe. Sorry, not that. Smart Flash. It's new now. I forgot this. And then you're going to hit Pro Flash. I know, crazy. You're going to hit Import Firmware. It's going to bring a little thing up. Go to Downloads. Oh, sorry, wrong downloads. This downloads. Go to where the file is saved. Oh, this is not it either. Uh, let me just find it quickly. Okay, we've had a bit of a rework. This is super annoying if you've already downloaded that OTA file. Delete that one. That was wrong. We just found it out now. This is the OTA file. I'm going to link this website again. The description is still 3U tool thing, basically. Just scroll down here. You'll see it for iPad 2.1. That's the one I have here. Uh, there's iPhone 4S and there's the iPad 2.1. Find out which version of iPad you have and then just hit download and it should begin a download. Hopefully. No, I'd open like a new tab, baby. No. Uh, let's see what we gotta do we gotta do this. Wait a second. I figured I'm gonna do it. Copy the URL. Copy link address. Come to a new tab. Paste it using Control V. And click enter. And then it just downloads it. Wait for that to download so you can see it's a completely different file. I'm gonna leave this link below this OTA file because I thought that was the other one, this one there, which is wrong. I'm so sorry guys, but just use this one I've linked. Um, I'll link this entire website. This this actually gives you a snap by snap guide on how to do it. Um, if you want that as well. And there's the iPhone 4S one again. Uh, I believe this is the two different versions of the, of the iPad. This is the iPad 2 Wi-Fi. This might be the I, the uh, cellular. Uh, which one? Of, I can't remember which one it is. And these are both the cellular ones. And I think this is the Retina version or the iPad 12, uh, 2012 version. And this is almost done down. It downloads pretty quickly. I guess it's downloaded from the Apple website, I bet you. But there you go. Once that's done downloading, go back into 3U tools. Get ready. And you're going to do the same thing. Uh, well, what you want to do while you're waiting for that to download is change this from retain user mode. You have to do this to quick flash mode. Because if you don't, it'll just screw everything up and it'll just keep crashing over and over. Now it's in downloading. Go back to your downloads folder. And there it is. Hit open. And there's a massive little blue flash button and click flash. It's going to say this. Don't do anything. Just press OK. It's already in DFU mode properly. Don't worry about it. Now it's going to load. Just give it a second to load there. Uh, you're going to hear a bunch of noises. Your iPad is disconnecting and all this kind of stuff. You can, see it's, you can see it going back and forth, disconnecting and connecting. Don't worry. It's just doing it. It's flashing right away. You can actually see what it's doing exactly. And you'll see this on your screen now. Yay. That means you've done it correctly, basically. We're at the iOS 6 uh, little install load bar thing. You can see it. There you go. And you can see that it's doing it there. Uh, I'll let this finish it, and it should go perfectly. If it doesn't, redo everything, basically. I know it's a super long step, but just redo the steps, because it should work every time. It's a pretty easy fix. I mean, a pretty easy thing to do. So, yeah. Um, that kind of proves my point then, I guess, that you really downgrading these newer devices, such as the iPhone 5 to iOS 6, is going to be harder. Because these don't have support that same feature. 
which is just to download this OTA file thing and have it. This thing probably doesn't have that. This is terrible on iOS 10. I hope you guys know that. But it's a fun thing to mess around with. Uh, so let this load. Okay, um, I'll get back when this is finished or it gets an error or anything happens, I'll come back and cut to it. You can see it's going perfectly well and it's matched with that bar moving. So uh, you're going well. Hopefully it finishes for you guys and we'll cut back with here with the first uh, install. You can see it doing it there as well and we're almost there. Look at that. We'll cut back again when it's fully done. The iPad is now restarting. Don't do any of this stuff. Leave all that alone. Just let it boot up now. It should be now booting to the iPad. This is fine. It's just telling you how to enter the FEMA. Don't do it again. Please. It'll just screw me up. But you're almost done there. There we go. We get one more loading bar. This one should go pretty quickly. And you can see it's actually uh, popping up now on here. It's saying unknown device. Again, leave it. The computer doesn't know what this phone is yet. I mean, this iPad, as you can see, there it is the iOS 6 uh, logo. Once it's done loading, you should be in the setup screen. We'll get there. I went actually really quickly. And oh, we're just got in. Yep, we're in. There we go. Uh, not charging because, you know, iOS 6. And we can we'll set this up actually really quick. You can see the classic iOS 6, 6 setup. Make connect to my network, Bell 420, of course. And we're not going to sign to my cloud right away because I don't want to waste time with verification and everything. We don't need to have this plugged in. That's not even charging. Hit next, activate your iPad. It's going to activate it. Boom, right away we're in. Um, you'll be asked to sign in, of course, afterwards. We're just going to set up as a new iPad. You, if you have an iOS 6 backup of your iPad 2, maybe from back in the day, you can restore it and it'll work perfectly. Some apps won't download properly, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that in another video, how to get the classic apps working. Here we go with the sign in. This is back in the day when Apple had it right there. Skip this setup. Because iCloud's pretty new at the time, so they didn't want to shove it down everyone's throat. Uh, automatically send, sure, and there we go. Start using iPad. Boom. See, look, it's unjailbroken. There is literally no Cydia. I can search Cydia here. There is nothing to tell that this thing um, was a jailbroken iPad. See, Cydia, nothing would pop up. You drop in a general here, up to about. Um, a software update will go pop up iOS 8. It'll probably automatically download it because it thinks it needs it, which we're not doing it. Uh, if I can get my phone to focus here. There it is. Look, I told you, iOS 8. There it is. Wanting to update. We're not going to update it. You can if you'd like to. We're not going to. There it is. The 32 gig, same iPad, same everything, serial numbers, all of that's here. And it's just running iOS 6. No jailbreak, of course. Everything works. A uh, great app store would work. Um, some apps will work, some won't. I'm going to show you guys how to download the classic apps without having to, you know, go through Apple's thing. There it is. This is good delay as iOS. But, uh,. There you guys go. Thank you guys for watching, uh, and uh, I'll send you out with a bang quickly.